ادعو الى سبيل ربك بالحكمه انوائٹ دا پیپل ہو آر دا فل آف وزڈم ولموعزت الحسنتی سیکنڈ ون دا پیپل ہو آر سمپل لائک سافٹ ہارٹیڈ پیپل و جا دل ہم بلتی ہی احسن اینڈ آرگیو ود دا پیپل ہو آر جدلا ہو آر ڈیبیٹرز ان ادر ورڈز ان ٹوڈیز ٹرمینالوجی بٹ ان دا بیوٹیفل مینرز یو ہیو ٹو آرگیو ود دیم So what do we learn from this verse? That there are three types of people. Whenever you confront with them, you have to face these things. So number one, the people of wisdom. Who are these people? People who have high intellects, what you call intellectuals of the society, intelligentsia, or the people of science in today's terminology. You see, wisdom is a debatable stuff it's very subjective in islamic point of view wisdom is the thing if you have physical sciences and metaphysical sciences lumped up these two knowledge it becomes wisdom neither you are on the side of materialism nor only in the side of spiritualism you are making a balance between both of them then it becomes hikmah wisdom So this is the Islamic notion, but generally wisdom people are also those who think too much or who are the wise people. So if you try to talk to them, you have to have a knowledge, a knowledge of every aspect, the knowledge of science, the knowledge of technology. You must equip with the universities and today's era's knowledge and all things, you know, information we have. circulating around if we are weak in those kind of things it is hard for us to give this message of quran to those people who are the people of wisdom in today's terminology you see in the past muslims were in full of wisdom they were the pioneers of all the message of science and technology to the rest of the world it is our fate now irony of fate that we have forgotten all those things and unfortunately we are in the hands of those people disbelievers who were those that back of time were learning from us but we are learning from them now it is the time paradigm shift happens in the history of the annals of the history and inshallah in the future muslims will revive again it will be the awakenings inshallah which will happen soon but now from this verse what can we induce or deduce Allah says the first people are the full of wisdom so whenever you talk to them you cannot convince them with some verses of Quran you have to talk to them in deep manners embryology in the Quran talk to embryologist then the people geologists talk to them about Quran about the mountains how Allah has created mountains the people of oceans oceanography talk to them how the mount these oceans have layers after layers after layers and then there is a pitch darkness and you find nothing there mariana trench for example or wherever the deep parts of the oceans atlantic ocean or pacific ocean vice versa so this is the time you talk to them but how are you going to talk to them allah says in surah al-anam that the more you go up the pressure changes and your chest getting constricted how do you know all these things if you don't know the basic science if you don't know what happens to the atoms of oxygen when they react in the upper atmosphere to the lower one You see these kind of things you all to yourself being muslim muslims are made to be educated remember that we are made to be educated unfortunately it is not so the case information we do have but knowledge can we create something no we can only utilize things nowadays We are not creating anything in the fields of anything any sciences because we are being rambled in our own issues we are just tangled in our own issues and those issues are incorrigibles no way to come out it's like an oscillation of lambrit or enigma we keep oscillating oscillating that's all this is our sad part i just say irony of fate so second pe- uh, people hum al mu'izat al hasanati people are good hearted Now good hearted people with the opening of your mouth and calling them towards the way of Islam 
you will see their eyes will become you know wet and this is what Allah says their hearts are not hard like the Jews in the Quran Allah says that their hearts are like tougher than these you know stones this is not the case of these people they are soft-hearted people they are waiting for the message they have a thirst quench and you have to quench that thirst and if we are not doing so we are failing on our duty this is our duty to do all these things but unfortunately we are not this verse in surat al nahl is the proof that what allah is expecting from us to deliver the message to three three categories in the world number one the people of wisdom then number two i already discussed good-hearted people you convey the message of islam allah will open their chests and then the message will go inside it but you have to make the first step first step you owe to yourself O muslims the second and the third step then allah will take care of that but allah is looking at you and he doesn't need you trust me allah doesn't need you you see in the bible these jews they were all the time putting back jesus christ and telling them before abraham you were not there abraham prophet abraham and they did not understand the message so jesus christ said that why are you making all these things you know if god wants to take the work he can even rise raise these stones and take the work from them so this is not the point the point is the test what are you doing what are you made of of and what things you are required to do in this world what are the prerequisites to go to the heaven paradise this is what we owe to us to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being a muslim third category wajadil hum billati hiya ahsan now this category this category is the people of debates who are jadala who want some confrontation so give one allah says give them one but make sure the manners are good in conduct why because if you say bad things about their god they will return in return same things to you so allah does not like these kind of things either talk but talk in a good manner or do not talk so the third category is this the purpose of this lecture is you know many brothers and my students they ask me that sir tell us how do we convey message to christians to jews or hindus vice versa what is the way i say this is the way <clears throat> see if the guy is full of wisdom you cannot convince him through these verses of quran because these are a touch of spiritualism you have to go through materialistic door to open his heart and get reasoned with him afala yatatabbaru alquran why don't they ponder quran with critical care walau kana min indi ghayri allah had it been from anyone other than allah you would have found there in much discrepancy then you have found there is contradictions this is surah an-nisa chapter 4 verse 82 so this is what allah is saying that you have to ponder now ponder you have to have the knowledge allah mentioned about the waves about embryology about cosmic balance if you don't know anything about cosmology how would you understand what sama rafa'a wa wada al-mizan and all of the heavens are plunged into cosmic balance how would you know these things i'm asking my muslim brothers or especially those students who are just uh, you know studying from madrasas how would you cope up these verses to these all western people is islam only constricted in madrasas or is only made for few selected people of the community of those madrasas or only one language language is the tool prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that the best weapon is the enemy's weapon you against you use against him in the strategy so this today's weapon is language english language i am not saying that you start learning english but at least the science the scientific knowledge must be there no background knowledge of science i am not criticizing anyone please mark my words i say to ulama myself i love those people and i am from the community i am not the person who just speak like one man show so we do everything under the umbrella of ulama alhamdulillah but where is the problem you have to say you cannot keep quiet and see things remember that open your mouth anything can be rectified anything can be reprimanded nobody is picture perfect except prophets so everything must be done under to the way of right 
decisions, decision making, teamwork. There's no one man show in Islam. Prophet says there is no Islam without Jama'at. There is no Islam. Remember that Islam comes with congregation. Islam comes with the people and together Islamic Ummah rose and together Islamic Ummah will rise. This is what we owe to ourselves. So debates. What debates you have to do with these people who are jadala, who want confrontation? They don't listen to the message of Quran. Tell them to bring your exhibits, bring your proof. Let's see and let's reason together and see where the truth lies. For Christians, for example, talk only on fundamental topics. Do not go beyond fundamental topics. Is Jesus God? Prove it from your Bible. Crucifixion, is it real or not? Prove it from your Bible. Is the Bible God's word? Prove it from your Bible. Original sin, prove it from your Bible. On and on. The catechism or the doctrine of the dogma of Christian dumb, only those topics must be dealt. All other sidetracks, we are not interested in your history, what the, what the historian said, what that, that particular contem contemporary history said. This is not the point here. The point discuss what matters you have in your Bible because Allah says Kul hatu burhanukum. Ask them their proof and exhibits and the testaments translation in English is also exhibit is one of the synonyms. So please don't waste our time. Talk about fundamentals. You will see where the truth lies.